Hey, what's going on everybody? Brady here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today I have some news for you guys about patch 1.13.5. Besides the artifacts, the new artifacts and all that overpower stuff from Platinum Arena that we're getting. I'm going to show you guys a new champion. Yep, you guessed it. A new champion. Uh, this is a legendary champion that is going to be a part of the login rewards. They are extending... They're extending the login rewards to 180 days now. So first of all, I'm wondering, what does that do for me who's been playing longer than that? Do I just get all of the rewards at the same time? Like, do I just log in and get them? Or do I need to play for three more months to actually get those rewards? I don't understand this system because every other game, like every other gotcha game like this, does monthly rewards, monthly lo login rewards. They're always the same. And every month, every day that you log in through the month, you get a reward. It's always the same. It's the same for everyone. And there's like something to look forward to, to, to log in every day. Why would these login rewards expire after 180 days? I don't understand that. What would be the reason for not having a monthly based system why just add three more months right so on top of the legendary we're also getting two epic champions so at the, at the 30 day mark you get an epic at the, at the 60 day mark you get an you'll get an epic and at the 90 day mark you get an epic i'm talking about like the extended so it's really at the at the 120 day mark at the 150 day mark and at the 180 day mark that you are getting these new they, these new champions so let's go ahead and go over these champions' abilities. The first, the first epic attacks one enemy, decreases the target's max hit points by thirty percent of the damage inflicted. Places a fifty percent increase attack buff on this champion for two turns, then attacks all enemies. Has a fifty percent chance of placing a thirty percent decrease speed debuff for two turns. A three instantly removes any freeze debuffs on this champion. And replaces them with a 30% increased crit rate buff, a 30% increased crit damage buff, and a 15% strengthened buff whenever an enemy places a freeze debuff on this champion. A passive, I'm assuming, passive. Fills the champion's turn meter by 25% and instantly activates the, I'm guessing, this skill. Whenever this champion or an ally receives a freeze debuff. So he buffs himself to no limit, pretty much, and removes freeze debuffs on himself. If this champion hits hard, this is a direct Torment counter. Again, we got Rotos, we got Siffy, now we have another champion that everyone is going to have. And it counters Torment, who was nerfed. Kind of. And honestly, they didn't know what to do with him because of how he was released. And now he's going to be countered by everything new that comes out. That was like a $500 fusion. And yes, okay, you could have done it free to play, whatever you want to call it. No, you had a bunch of resources saved up. And the amount of resources that would have taken to fuse Torment was probably $500 worth. To complete all the events, all that stuff. Actually, I'm probably selling this short. It's definitely more than $500. For a champion that two months down the road becomes just countered? I I don't get it. I don't get it. Epic number two. Attacks one enemy two times. Places an extra hit if the target is under a 50% heal reduction debuff. Places two extra hits if the target is under a 100% heal reduction debuff. Attacks one enemy, has a 75% chance, chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. Decreases the target's turn meter by 20%. The decrease speed debuff is placed. And then A3 places a 30% reflect damage buff and a 15% continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. This champion, cool, right? Not bad. This is probably work well on Fire Knight paired with Cole Heart or anybody else who does heal reduction moves. And then uh, we have the third champion, the legendary, this chick, right? She looks really awesome. I'll give it to Plarium on that. Their their artwork is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And that is 
that is why everyone plays this game. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. That because if they didn't have the artwork and the awesome graphics that they have for a mobile game, this game would just be straight doo-doo. Right? It's overpriced. There's no content. There's nothing. And yes, if you just started out, you had a lot of stuff to do. And yeah, everyone can say, oh, you have a completely Faction Wars. I don't care. You need the most ridiculous champions slash gear setups to complete Faction Wars. It's not content for the normal player. It's just whales only. Not, not interested. So let's check out her abilities. Attacks one enemy. Has a 20% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. Also has a 30% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 15%. Attacks all enemies two times. Each hit has a 20% chance of placing a stun debuff on one turn. Revives an ally with 50% hit points and places a 50% ally protection buff on them for two turns. Heals all allies by 10% of their max hit points at the start of each turn. Also places a 30% increased speed buff on a random ally for two turns. This is a champion that everyone's going to have. She seems really good. But why are we getting more champions? Right? You guys would think that this is exciting news. Oh, awesome. We're getting more champions. No, guys. This is awful. What do we need more champions for? Let me show you something. 166 plus 110 plus 151 plus 25 is 4... 452, right? 452 champions. Let me remind you, this is a collection game. You want to collect everything, right? How are you supposed to do that when you only have 400 slots? You gotta be kidding me. Calibria, who. Uh, Calibria Crystal Guardians, a game that people think is inferior to Raid because of the graphics, came out a month and a half ago, two months ago, has way more content. Like, way more content. It has three towers. Like, it's crazy. It also has about 220 champions or something. And you can increase the vault space to 1,000. And you have 120 room in your inventory. And to upgrade the vault, it costs 20 gem per each upgrade. The vault upgrades in this game cost ridiculous amounts of gems or silver or whatever it's almost not worth upgrading it but you need to in order to keep champions so not only can you not collect all of the champions because there's no room for them what about dupes what about legendary dupes what about food for fusions what about actual food where are you supposed to keep all of it plarium stop releasing champions nobody cares anymore Nobody wants to see more champions. We want to see content. Right? What I know about so far about uh, about the update that's uh, that's coming out, the 1.13.5, is that the Septimus AI is getting fixed, the speed hack will be fixed, and the drop rate of superior potions at dungeons will be increased. What? That's not a patch. That's nothing. Plus, whatever, the platinum gear and new champions and 90-day rewards, none of that is, is content. That, that literally does not qualify as content. It is absolute crap. Now, they, they dropped another thing. What is this? Is this more champions? So the Dark One is a cunning foe, capable of twisting the hearts of mortals through deceit and their inmate lust of power. At times, the necromantic rights, uh, his disciplines wield can befall even of the noblest of sacrifices and turn fallen heroes to their cause. But can vile magic truly prevail over the purity of heart and the camaraderie of Lumar, uh, Lumaya's champions? So we're getting more champions on top of more champions that we don't have room for. Like, you, you gotta... I don't understand what Plarium is actually doing. Right? I think that this is all just a gigantic prank. 
and Plarium is owned by some rich dude who put out this game so that way he can see how much money he can drain from people for nothing. For literally nothing. Let's just draw some cool pictures, put them in a game, and let's see people waste their money on it. Stop spending money, guys. Literally, do not spend a dime on raid. There's no reason to, reason to buy energy. So you can grind Dragon with the same champions for crap gear, and you end up getting mostly the sets that you don't want. And yes, it's RNG, blah, blah, blah. No, it's rigged. You get way more days gear and... Uh, stalwart gear and avenging gear than you do speed accuracy or lifesteal gear from dragon it's all a big scam unless plarium proves us wrong or proves me wrong and actually gives us some content and actually fixes the things in this game that are seriously wrong like tournament i didn't even do it spider i don't care about grinding spider events Arena Assault. Yes, I do Arena every day. This is not an event. This should just be something that is in the Arena store. Like, as you do Arena, you get rewards. Dungeon Divers. Two XP brews? Four XP brews? Eight XP brews? What is this? this these, fine, leave these in the game. But we actually need other stuff. I am sick and tired of doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. There's no freshness to the game. And champions are not the solution. You cannot continue releasing overpowered champions for just people to spend more money on. What am I supposed to do with these new champions? Run the same dungeons that I already have all set up? Who cares about these new champions? So with everything that's happened in the past couple of months in Raid... I don't know if plenty of things that we're going to forget or not. I've already mentioned this before. But nobody's forgetting about Draco Gate. Nobody's forgetting about a patch that was released with a month of maintenance. Like, nobody, nobody is going to forget this. At least I'm not going to. And I'm going to be putting out these videos to make sure that everybody remembers. Plarium is a scheme. And I want them to prove me wrong by actually releasing content. By, by actually taking their hand out of my pocket. Because that's all that they are doing. $50 energy packs that are a worse deal than the $25 energy packs. No gem accumulation. No arena rewards. No content. No clan boss shop. Uh, I mean, no guild shop. No guild wars. There's nothing. Th this, this game has nothing to offer after you've been playing for a couple of months of course yes if you're a brand new player you're gonna be like oh my god this game's so cool it has awesome graphics there's so much to do no in three months if you're spending money you're gonna be in the end game you're gonna be doing whatever and the only thing you can progress in is faction wars which requires ridiculous champions or setups with ridiculous gear that you can only get by spending a lot more money Everything is revolved around spending money. Everything. And I'm okay with spending money on something that is worth spending money on. But I don't care about new champions. I don't care about pulling more shards. I just keep getting crap or dupes. Speaking of dupes, where's a system for dupes? Why is there nothing in place for that? I have a dupe with Sandra I just pulled. What am I supposed to do with her? She just sits in my vault. I'm waiting for something to do with dupes. Where is it, Plarium? Where is it? Septimus, ah, is getting fixed. You guys released a legendary that is broken and it took you over a year to fix it. How is that acceptable? What is actually going on at Plarium? What are you guys doing? Is it even a company? Is there anyone even working there besides the people making ads? I don't understand what is actually happening. And normally I would feel like I hate making these videos because 
I don't, I don't really, I've never thought that I would like making rant videos, but I actually like making these videos because it lets me get my anger out because I am, I am angry and disappointed in what I've invested my time and money in. And I want it to change. But it's not changing. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. We're getting more power champions on top of more power champions that counter the other champion that was just released. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a scheme. It's a scheme. It's a scheme. And unless something is done to prove me wrong, I'm going to stick by what I say. It's a scheme. So, to end this video, please stop spending money. Please stop playing the game. The game needs to take a huge decrease in profit, the huge decrease in player base, a huge decrease in everything. So that way that they understand that they actually cannot keep doing what they're doing. If you guys keep spending, you're literally just being like, yeah, it's okay, player, that's fine. Well, you guys keep doing what you're doing and we're going to keep spending money. Stop spending money. I am not buying anything. I'm not even playing this game. Seven Deadly Sins just came out and... I hope that it's the raid killer that, that, we, that we've been waiting for. I think that I covered everything that I wanted to cover in this video. So please leave a like and a subscribe and comment below on what your thoughts are about this. And whether I'm right or wrong. Or whether my point is right or wrong. Because I really don't know what to say anymore. Or what us as content creators need to do to make this change or to make this change happen because a change is needed a change is necessary and without change the game is dying the game is dying and i don't want it to die so yeah i think that's gonna do it for today's video guys please leave a like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next one peace